So I just finished watching the extremely long opening ceremony to the Sushi Olympics, or the Sochi, Sochi, I don't know, somewhere over there in Russia, on the Black Sea. And, um, you know, they had their problems, all these reporters got over there and said, ah, they, you're not supposed to put the water on your face, there's bad chemicals in it, the water was coming out yellow, and, uh, lame dogs running around everywhere, wild, after being poisoned, they're sick. Uh, numerous problems, I mean, it's like, it's still like a third world country over there, their infrastructure. Yet they spent 52 billion dollars on this. I guess it's a good thing they didn't buy any more nukes with that money. Many of you watching this are probably too young to have had to go and do uh, nuke drills at your school. I used to have to do that. And we were daily, reminded daily that we'd all be destroyed. At any moment we could all be destroyed. You know, it was a bunch of socialist propaganda. Much like this ceremony. Just a bunch of socialist propaganda. Um, they gave one shout out, it looked like, that I could tell to the Illuminati with the all-seeing eye. But beyond that, I didn't see much in that regard. Um, of course, they talked about diversity. You know, the Olympics represents diversity. But to me, it looked like just a sea of white people with a few Asians thrown in. Yeah, Jamaica had a few black people. Uh, there was one kind of mixed black guy on the USA team. Other than that, it was uh, mostly just white people. So it was pretty funny they talk about diversity. And then there's Putin, okay? He's lording over the ceremonies like a North Korean dictator. Yeah, up there with his... Is that his great-granddaughter that was next to him? Oh, no, wait, that's his girlfriend. He truly is a cradle robber. He should go hang out with Bill Clinton. Oh, definitely on Cialis or, or Viagra or something. But, yeah, he lorded over the ceremonies. Of course, I'm sure he hated it when the uh, head of the Olympic Committee came out and gave his speech, which was in English, even though that's not his native tongue. You know, had the Soviets won, he'd be speaking in Russian. A bunch of us would be speaking in Russian, but they didn't. They lost because socialism fails every time it's been tried. Socialism destroyed the once great imp Russian Empire. They had accumulated a lot of m money, vast wealth, over centuries there in Russia. And then the communists took over and blew it all. Now, during the ceremony, there's one part where they, you know, they're going through kind of a, a timeline history of Russia. They got to, like, around the 50s or the 60s. Oh, they looked like they were all happy. They actually looked like they were straight out of the United States of America with their their, their wigs, their hairdos, you know. That wasn't going on in, in the Soviet Union. No. Oh, pure propaganda. Now, I did enjoy the light show. You know, especially the special effects that on the floor. You know, at one point, they had like a ship. It looked like it was floating on the ocean from, from up above. It had a three-dimensional look to it. And they'd uh, pan down to the ground, and you could tell it was just two-dimensional. So, the light show was, was pretty cool. I like that. Um, the lighting of the torch, that was pretty cool. Except for the guy that was running the torch up. He looked like he was <laughs> needed a wheelchair. Um, what else can I think about? Uh, you know, it took, it was four hours, you know, I can't condense four hours into five minutes worth of video, but, yeah, I did see a lot of, a lot of propaganda there, you know, the, the Soviet Union's trying to rebuild itself, like a, trying to regrow like a bad tumor, tumors you can't get rid of, but it's not gonna work. Socialism has failed everywhere it's been tried. Um, it was uh, much more spectacular than the London Olympics opening ceremony. It was akin to the Chinese ceremony, but I think they even outdid the, the Chinese ceremony. So, I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know.